If you live anywhere that has had a tragic experience with a lot of people passing away, if you live by a cemetery, um, you really have to set some boundaries and do a lot of protection around your house, okay? Especially if you feel energy, especially if you see things that are going on in your house that are kind of weird. Um, because I have had spirits go back to the places that they lived in. So you live in lower Manhattan and you say that where these people lived that probably have passed away with 9-11. So I think it's very important that you sage your house a lot. It's important that you set boundaries with the spirit world. Okay. I talk about this in my book as well, where we have to set boundaries with them. They are not welcome in your house. And intention is everything when you're dealing with energy. So you want to have the intention and set the intention. I would say it multiple times a day in the very beginning. It's just like, it's like teaching a toddler with boundaries. It's like you have to repeat it, repeat it, repeat it until they finally get it. So it's the same with thing with the spirit world. So you want to set the intention that nobody's welcome in your house, that you do not invite in. Um, you want no negative energy, only energy and love and light. Um, and really just set that boundary. Just keep saying it in your head because spirit has to abide by our <laughs> rules. So when you set that rule that they are not welcome in your house, not welcome in your apartment complex, that's a little bit bigger, um, a bigger boundary. I would start with your apartment. And then I would try to um, actually put it around yourself as you're walking through the apartment buildings. You want to protect yourself and you want to protect your apartment from having any spirits come in or attach to you as well. All right. So set that intention, set the boundary with the spirit world um, and sage, sage, sage a lot. I hope that helps.